this uh, is the management practices for using poor quality uh, water now in the previous uh, slide show which we have discussed we have discussed about the uh, problems and the different salts which fluctuates and the quality of water depending on that and the electrical conductivity and all that how the irrigation water has is affecting your uh, uh, you know uh, the soil's quality and the health of the soil and uh, maybe making a good soil problematic if we are applying uh, poor water to this now if you have a water which is poor and uh, in quality and uh, ultimately uh, but you have to go for irrigation you have to work on with this so there there is some modifications which you can do and you can you know uh, use this water by after you know treatment or just like potable waters they are treated and then they are used so similarly the irrigation waters are also treated and they are used uh, and so uh, this is about the the, the course uh, outcomes and then we am coming to the thing so management practices for using poor quality waters is uh, how it is done it is done with the you can say the application of gypsum uh, the alternate irrigation uh, strategy fertilizer applications method of irrigation crop tolerance method of sowing and drainage so like this uh, uh, just a minute students yes uh, so this is um, regarding the application of gypsum you can apply gypsum to make the water quality uh, you can uh, maybe space to use irrigation or the method of irrigation alter the things and, uh, the things will be taken and accordingly there these are calculated uh, for example, if it is 860 kg and uh, you are just dividing it by 10, then it is 86 kg, uh, which the farmer probably can afford easily. So, uh, I mean, this is the reason why these things are uh, done like that. Then, alternate irrigation strategy. Uh, some crops are suitable to salinity at germination and establishment stage, but tolerance at later stages. Uh, if susceptible stages are insured with good quality water and subsequently you can go for the irrigation. So this is an alternate irrigation strategy. Ki shuru mein jab paani, jab plant sensitive hai, uh, paani ke liye, to us time pe you can go for good water. But once they become big and they can now tolerate the uh, you know salty waters and all that, then at that time you can use that kind of water. So this way it will not affect the crop and as well as the cost of production. Uh, the, another important thing is uh, about the uh, fertilizer applications. So fertilizer manures and soil amendments include many soluble salts in high concentrations. Uh, you know that all these fertilizers they have uh, for example can is there then it is having a calcium at a higher concentration there is other uh, lots of other fertilizers uh, they have they give some other uh, you know cations along with the, the NPK things so if placed in too close to the germinating seedlings or to the growing point the fertilizer may cause an, uh, an aggravate a salinity or toxicity problem so that means that uh, uh, the soils uh, they create uh, you know if the fertilizer are come in direct contact they create some toxicity so care therefore should be taken in placement as well as timing of fertilization so normally uh, there is a way either it's the fertilizer is mixed in a, you know and then after the seed sowing is done or either the seed fertilizer and seed rows are kept separate uh, so that the fertilizers do not come in contact with the uh, with the you know uh, the sowing uh, the seeds which are sown uh, the application of uh, you know, fertilizers in small doses and frequent improve uptake and reduce damage to the crop plants in addition the lower the salt index of fertilizers the less danger there is to salt burn and this thing so uh, i mean these are uh, the, with the fertilizer applications uh, which depends how which type of fertilizer how to apply the fertilizer how to maintain the gap with the crop so that it is not affecting the crops badly uh, 
uh, the next about the methods of irrigation uh, I was just just digging up this so the method of irrigation is uh, you know directly affect both the efficiency of water use and say the and, and the way the salts accumulates uh, so what happens you know uh, the what salts comes to surface once the ET uh, water ET happens that is called the evapotranspiration things happens uh, so water goes but the salts means there so in order to avoid uh, the water to be come to the surface uh, so it is good if we apply the water in only in small amount uh, and uh, you can say uh, which remains just on the root zones and not coming to the surface and maybe uh, the methods like uh, uh, sprinkler method of irrigation which is just uh, sprinkling of water on the plants uh, the field crop sprinkled with water having excess quantity of ions such as sodium and chloride they may cause seed leaf burn so this kind of water shouldn't be sprinkled and high frequency irrigation in small amounts as in drip irrigation improves water availability and uptake due to micro leaching effect in the wetted zones so uh, you can say that uh, the drip irrigation plays a very very important role uh, if you are just looking towards the uh, you can say uh, the altering the method of irrigation and then with the help of that we can alter the you know use of these waters uh, the management practices of using poor quality water is by method of sowing also the salinity reduce uh, or slows germination and it is often difficult to obtain a satisfactory stand. So suitable planting practices, bed shapes, irrigation management can greatly enhance the soil control during the critical germination period. So seeds have to be placed in an area where soil concentration is less. Soil accumulation is less on the slopes of the rich on bottom of the ridge so therefore placing the seeds on the slopes of the ridge uh, may be sometimes uh, helpful uh, in amendments and by altering <coughs> that you can say uh, uh, these comes under your you know, the agronomic alterations you can say this is all the agronomic alterations which you can do and can help you in you know uh, making the in problematic soils making the problematic water uh, to be able to use for growing the crops then crop tolerance the crop differs in their tolerance to poor quality waters so better we can go for crops which are you know tolerant to such things so there is a crops uh, the list of crop is given uh, which is uh, semi tolerant or sensitive uh, like this so uh, you can just see the crops like uh, sorghum maize sunflower bajra mustard uh, rice wheat uh, the fruits like grapes mango vegetables like tomato cabbage cauliflower cucumbers carrot and these potatoes so these are crops crops which can tolerate the salts but the crops like uh, chickpea linseed beans green grams and the fruits as they've been given like apple orange almond and all that they are you know sensitive to these salts so they shouldn't be grown uh, then the management practices for using poor quality waters is uh, drainage provide adequate internal drainage uh, there is no accumulation of water and uh, you, you have seen in the, the, the uh, water logging things that it creates anaerobic environments in creating problems so meet necessary leaching requirements depending on crop and ec of water this is necessary to avoid build of salt in soil solutions to level that will limit crop yields so leaching requirements can be calculated from water test results and uh, tolerance levels can also be uh, analyzed uh, other management practices uh, are like overage seedlings in rice uh, uh, maybe uh, that is uh, helpful in you know surviving because they are less sensitive to this the mulching is another practice which helps in you know treating the soils soil management uh, the way to manage the soil crop rotations 
and ultimately the use of organic matters to the extent that you can do so because i have already told you that adding organic matter is always uh, helpful uh, to bring the soils to the health to neutrality uh, the overage seedlings in rice is transplanting of rice with overage seedlings at a closer spacing results in better establishment uh, similarly mulching uh, is covering the leaf surface with the help of some kind of leaves and all helps in you know less evapotranspiration losses and so and there is more and more salts goes downwards because the the water is not coming up with the et or evapotranspiration so uh, this is helpful the soil management uh, by you know different ways uh, to alter maybe adding certain things uh, as i told you liming gypsum organic matter leaves dry leaves and all that the crop rotations is another that if you reduce the crops then it will help you uh, in uh, uh, you know uh, changing the salinity of the soils so this is uh, about the today's uh, lectures uh, so i hope this is helpful to you and uh, uh, now you can uh, uh, thank you students